Come with me. Let's go to 1 John chapter 1, verses 5 through 10. To the left is the King James Version. To the right is the Expanded Bible. This then is the message which we have heard of him, and declare unto you that God is light, and in him is no darkness at all. So verse 5 is saying that God is light, and in him there is no darkness. So God is righteous. There is no sin in God. God is light. There is no darkness within him. Verse 6. And really pay close attention to this because... Uh, Sometimes when you listen to the wrong people, they totally take things out of the wrong or take things out of context. This why it is good to read your Bible. Even I tell you to take out your Bibles so you will know that I am not speaking crazy or anything like that. Verse 6. If we say that we have fellowship with him and walk in darkness we lie and do not the truth so what is this saying if we say that we are serving God if we say that we are a Christian if we say that we are righteous but we are sinning we are lying why because there is no darkness in God how can you say that you have God within you or you are right with God when there is no darkness in God. How can you say that you have the Holy Spirit within you? The Holy Spirit is part of the Godhead, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. There is no darkness in God, but you say that you can sin all you want and you are saved and you are righteous, so on and so on. You are lying, as it says in verse 6. So there is no such thing as a sinning, sinning Christian. <laughs> a sinning Christian. Yes, I sin all I want and yes, I am a Christian because I believe that there is a God and Jesus Christ died for my sins. So as long as I believe in that, I can continue to sin. So I am saved. Verse 6 says, you are not saved. You don't know God. You don't have the Holy Spirit. You are not living within him because in him is no darkness. So how can you be living within him, per se, but you are living in darkness, in sin, within him, there is no darkness, there is no sin, so you are not saved. You work for Satan, pretty much, in so many words. Verse 7. But if we walk in the light, what does that mean? Not when you turn the light on in your home and you walk in it. Not when you walk outside when there is sunlight. When you walk in the light, you are following God's rules and regulations. That is what it means by walking in the light. Walking in truth when you are following God's rules and regulations. But if we walk in the light, as he is in the light, so God is in the light, because there is no darkness within him, there is no sin within God, God is righteous, right? We have fellowship one with another. So if I am following God's rules and regulations, what this is saying, I have fellowship with God. Yes, I don't see God, but I have fellowship with him, meaning that he is with me. As long as I am, what? 
following his rules and regulations. So I have fellowship with God. It is as if God is sitting right here next to me. As long as what? As long as I walk in the light, meaning what? I am following his rules and regulations. Makes sense, right? Okay. Where am I? <laughs> and the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanseth us from all sin. That is when I am walking in the light. So all I have to do, if I do anything wrong, let's say that, you know, I get mad at someone and I curse them out. I'm like, you so-and-so. Now what I can do, if I am smart, I would repent of my sins. Once I repent of my sins and begin to follow God's rules and regulations, I am saved. Now I am walking now I am walking in the light. So now I have fellowship with God now. Let's continue on. Verse 8. If we say that, let me stop at verse 7. Yes. I don't want to go all the way down. So this is 1 John chapter 1 5 through 7 see I try to put 7 right there but it says 107 <laughs> so 5 through 7 so I pray that this makes sense so you can't say that you are living for God while you are walking in darkness I speak to people that actually in so many words, say that. Makes no sense. So I pray that this does make sense here. God bless.